Hello and welcome along to the Racers TV. What a great tats bet Adelaide Autumn Racing Carnival we had. Uh, of course, the last group one wrapping up last week with the running of the Goodwood and victory to Smoke and Joey charging down the outside for Wes Hunter and Ben Mellum. Back to back Goodwoods for Ben Mellum. Racing in South Australia this week. Well, on Saturday, we're on the park circuit at Morfordville. Eight races on the program there. And next Wednesday, we go racing at Murray Bridge. Well, Dominic Tourneur journeys up to Brisbane to ride Hucklebuck on Saturday. Uh, Dom, I guess you're looking forward to it. Yeah, no, really excited. Uh, you know, uh, it'll pave the way for the rest of the Winter Carnival for him. I guess uh, Phillip's then got to make the decision after Saturday. Um, do you go towards the Strad break or do you just stay to the three-year-olds and maybe t take on the uh, the three-year-olds his own age in the in the Queensland Guineas? Yeah, that's right. Look, Saturday will tell a better story. Um, you know, if he, if he is sort of uh, impressive or dominant and he happens to win well, well then, you know, you, you've got to have a look at the Strad boat. It looks a good race for him, but, you know, if he doesn't, or if he just doesn't come up to scratch, well, we can always fall back to the Guinness. Uh, a couple of things I'd like to ask you about. Firstly, his recent trial at Gawler. Yeah, no, it was very good. Uh, we were sort of quite soft on him. Um, I didn't want to tax him too much, but he, he was impressive all the same. Run good time, run the quickest time of the day. Um, and uh, we, we basically treated it as probably a first up sort of run for him. Um, the trip up to Brisbane probably sort of as a second up run and hence why it's 13.50 first up sort of thing. Okay, and what about travelling the reverse way for the first time on Saturday? Yeah, look, obviously, you know, you never know until you put them under pressure, but um, Katie McMahon, she's doing all the track work, Phillips um, Foreman, she's been very happy with the way he's been getting around in the opposite direction. He's been getting on the right leg and letting down good, so all things are pointing positive at the moment. Phillips always talked about him, that he's such a sensible horse anyway. Yeah, no, he is. He's, he's very, very sensible. He'll, he'll do what you sort of ask him to, and he, he um, goes about his business pretty well. You would have been happy with the barrier draw. It's a big field. You've drawn barrier seven, um, so you should really be able to put him where you want to put him. Yeah, no, ideal. We, we might come into five with, with the emergencies, but um, look, he's drawn perfectly, I thought. Um, we'll be able to posse up where we want. I think the favourites are coming out of gate 11, 12, 13 and 14, uh, the main rivals in the race. So, um, you know, I'll be able to keep an eye on them and uh, be tracking one of them into the race, I think. And just one final one, Dom, uh, away from Hucklebuck, uh, the Jockeys Premiership here in Adelaide. Jason Holder all of a sudden is putting himself right into the thick of things. No, look, he's, he's, he's going very well. He had a great carnival, uh, good to see. And, um, no, he's riding very well at the moment and, and Leon's team firing. So hopefully we can, um, you know, be competitive and get Phil's firing again and it'll be a great duel. Good luck on Saturday, mate. Thank you. Good luck to Dominic Tourneur and Philip Stakes with Hucklebuck up in Brisbane on the weekend. Let's have a look at some of the races at Morfordville on Saturday. I thought we'd look at races three, four and five. Race three for the three-year-olds. The weight's headed by Exodus for Philip Stokes. Jake Toerogue taking the ride to claim. Not a bad race, that. Race number four. Again, the weight's headed by a Philip Stokes run, a lucky symbol. Omaray takes the ride on it to take some weight off its back. Mr Backchat looks a good chance for Tony McAvoy. And then race number five and hidden value, the top weight there, Simon Price for Trevor Danzi and Natasha Store nearest to pin, and Jamando returning for Tony McAvoy. That's our look at uh, the Racers TV this week. We'll see you again next week. There's nothing like a day at the races.